Hello and welcome to GCSE Revision Made Easy. Today we will be speaking about gravitational potential energy, what it is and how it can be calculated. So, what is gravitational potential energy? Well, GPE is the potential energy stored in any object due to its position in the Earth's gravitational field. The arrow on this diagram indicates a downward force created by the gravitational potential on the teddy bear in the Earth's gravitational field. An upwards arrow is also needed on the diagram to show the balancing force that the Earth provides as a reaction force. If this force was not there, the teddy bear would continue to fall and accelerate until it hit the center of the Earth. So, how do we find GPE? Well, it is calculated from the following formula. GPE equals m times g times h. m is the mass of the object, g is the acceleration due to the Earth's gravitational field, and h is the height at which the, which the object is placed. The first component which we will discuss is mass. Mass is not to be confused with weight, since mass is a property of an object and weight is a force. Units of mass are kilograms, and it is constant for the object in any position in a gravitational field. The next component of GPE we will discuss is the gravitational acceleration constant of the Earth, otherwise known as g. This is a fixed value on the surface of Earth, although it does vary slightly everywhere you go. However, you can always approximate it as 9.8 meters per second squared. It is an acceleration that is constant on any object, no matter what mass or size it has. The final component we will discuss is height. Height is measured in meters. Since height is relative, we will always be dealing with change in height, which will therefore give us the change in gravitational potential energy from one height to another. As we know, energy can't be created or destroyed. This is why, as an object loses gravitational potential energy, it is converted into kinetic energy. Here is an example of a problem that you may be faced with. A bear of weight 200 grams is placed on a table 0.5 meters from the surface of the moon, where the gravitational field strength is 1.6 meters per second squared. What is its gravitational potential energy? In order to find the bear's gravitational potential energy, we must multiply together the three factors which we previously discussed. The mass of the bear is 200 grams, however we must convert this into kilograms in order to find the correct answer. So we divide by 1000, giving us 0.2 kilograms. Gravity is given to us as 1.6 meters per second squared, and the height is 0.5. Multiplying these together gives us 0.16 joules. This type of question is the most likely to come up on a paper. However, you may be given the gravitational potential energy and be asked to calculate mass, gravity or height. In order to do this, you must start with the gravitational potential energy value and divide it by the other two values which you have to give the third remaining one in question. We hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching and good luck with your GCSEs.